now, over millions of years, struggled out of that ocean. We struggled up on our elbows. And we let those fins stay on the shore. And after a while, we were walking across the savannah. After a while, we're sitting at the computer for hours and hours and hours. Something went wrong in that time-lapse history that I just shared with you. And we gotta reverse, reverse where we go and start walking back to the shoreline again. And we might find that that shoreline is gone. We might find that the sand has been blown away. We might find that the coral reef is gone. We might find that we've driven all the oxygen out of that water. We might find that we've just poisoned it and poisoned it. That there's an island of plastic goo from our plastic shopping bags. But we've got to believe that that water still has its magic in it. That that thing that it did, making life. Life alone. We don't know what that is. We don't know what life is. Science never explained to us what life was. It's baffling. It's amazing. It's momentous. It's strange. It's different than anything we expected. The people who tell us that they know what life is all about, they're the fundamentalists. They say they have the answer. And there is no fundamentalist more wicked than consumerism. Trying to explain life by way of products. No. Life. I'm standing on the shore and I'm thinking that I'm looking at life and I'm saying I don't know what you are but I'm grateful that you're in me I don't know what you are I cannot kill you I will refuse to kill you I will stop killing you and start worshiping you. I'm going to get on my knees to you. I'm going to listen to what you have to tell me. 